Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you do go on to enjoy today's video and want more content like this, then feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. By the way, if you would like your own clips featured in one of our videos, then feel free to submit them to the form in the description down below. Women literally have their own leagues and associations. Women in sports makes women not want to play sports. Major rappers and celebrities who worship the NBA but don't keep that same energy for the WNBA only push the notion that women's sports are worse and are one of the major problems with sports. Women don't like watching the NFL because there's absolutely no female representation. Along the same lines, it's 2020 and men still aren't making room for women in sports. She's the one that started all the commotion. Anybody got a Pepsi? The biggest lie ever. Men have it way easier with dating. Let me explain why. Men pick who they pursue versus women pick through who pursued. Big difference. Society says that this woman had something to say to feminists. I think it's kind of funny how a lot of pro-choice, pro-abortion people will kind of flatter themselves and say things like, Don't you dare try to control my body. Keep your laws and your opinions away from my uterus. Like, Karen, let's make a couple things very clear. Nobody cares what you do with your body. Nobody wants control over your body. And nobody wants to be anywhere near your uterus, believe me. Truly, all we care about is a separate- Oh, they got her back good. Great, more cash. Right, because you're not as smart or as good looking as women as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are, so true. we are We are smarter and dumber than women. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. We're much wider. We have a wide variety. You guys are more sort of like, a little bit dumb, a little bit smart. We're total <laughs> morons and genius. This is someone who thinks of herself. That being said, I don't think of myself as a victim. I don't think I'm oppressed because of my gender. I think I have the same rights as men. And if you have any ideas of what rights I don't have that men do, be sure to leave that in the comments. I'm pro-women, anti- It's pronoun talk once again. ...are not preferred. They're not a preference. They're mandatory for interaction with me. Um, I do not expect everyone in the world to understand uh, my identity. I barely understand my identity myself. You don't have to understand someone to respect them or their wishes. Someone is very logical. You have to be inclusive when you're the best. We don't go watch sports games to watch everyone be inclusive. Here's Joe's dad on first, Mike's mom's on second. We're being inclusive. We want to see the best in humanity. We want to aspire to something. And if we're going to play silly logic, as seems to be happening, why, if everybody is beautiful, are those girls' bodies not beautiful? Feminism Today rally is ridiculous. A real feminist heroine like I have in Susanna. It's so dispiriting to see her celebrating the co cynical commercialization of objectification. That's all. That's my point. She makes a very good point. I'm the only one that thinks it's extremely ironic that at the Women's March this year, they were actively marching against a woman. Like, the left is really only feminist when it comes to left-wing women. His shirt just says, build the wall. And look how it triggered these two. Okay, so, okay, so tell me, racist? Clearly, you're the one who feels uncomfortable because you're wearing that shirt. Oh, he doesn't want to show his face. It's a little oh. uncomfortable you, uh... Oh, right here. That, I got all you. Those questions when it's I'm a little uncomfortable when I come in to get coffee and you're wearing a racist fucking shirt that you are. You're so... Racist. I've never seen such a racist case. No, that's preference. And those are not the same things. If you wouldn't date someone because they're fat, that's fat phobia. Fat phobia is rooted in and anti-blackness. You are seriously crying about this? Difference. Society says that the man pursues the woman. This means that men get to go through an incredibly healthy exercise of looking at all their options, deciding what they want, and then spending their time pursuing that. Versus women are taught to sit back, wait to be pursued, and then from there you decide what you do and do not want from potential suitors coming up to you. This is way more time intensive. She got eaten alive. Free speech is an instrumental good. We have the audacity to try and erode the platform that our racist and misogynistic society has given to two privileged white men. 
Hope you're yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, uh, you, you, st you said at the beginning that you didn't read our columns, and it's absolutely evident from what you've said this evening that you don't. <laughs> okay. Catch it, bitch. Is it not true that to have a different opinion isn't the same as telling other people that they shouldn't have or they can't have an opinion? Do this to a feminist one day and see how they react. Taking advantage of a woman when she's drunk is so wrong. Oh, I totally agree. And I mean, it's so wrong when women do it to men too. Taking advantage of a man when he's drunk, financial domination, trying to appeal to his porn addiction or sex addiction, you know, to get a little extra cash, it's really sad. Pro-life people getting owned by this woman. It's like, that's confidence. It's the nonsense of it. You don't have to be inclusive when you're the best. We don't go watch sports games to watch everyone be inclusive. Here's Joe's dad on first, Mike's mom's on second. We're being inclusive. We want to see the best in humanity. We want to aspire to something. And if we're going to play silly logic, as seems to be happening, why, if everybody is beautiful, are those girls' bodies not beautiful? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy the video, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Goodbye for now, and we'll see you next time.